Hey everyone, welcome to our new video. In this video, I will share with you another free AI coding setup where you can generate code for free with AI. And we will use this model DeepSeek R1 and that is currently available on Tray. Yes, we will use this Tray code editor. In the last video, I have already shown you that how to download this Tray code editor and how to do the setup, how to make the account. It is a simple procedure. So if you have not watched this video, please watch this video. I have given this link in the i button. Please check that. Okay. Now, another thing is that you may think that why DeepSeek R1 and why Tray? Okay. Because uh, I have already made uh, several videos uh, like you can use DeepSeek R1 on uh, VS Code using client or root code. But why Tray? So if you go to this tray, uh, there you will find this option in this model selection, this DeepSeek uh, Reasoner R1 and DeepSeek V3. Okay. Now the advantage that you will get uh, using this tray is that you don't have to manually put any API key. So in case of client or in case of root code, in that case, you have to manually put the API key if you use the open router or if you want to use any other provider also in that case you have to manually put the api key okay or if you use the olama in that case also you have to download that model locally so that will also take the space but here in this tray you don't have to download any model you have to just download this code editor just make an account and after that you will find this model in this model selection and it is completely free and unlimited and another advantage that you will get using this tray is that uh, suppose you have started coding using this cloud 3.7 sonnet and after that due to high demand you may see this message uh, let me show you that message okay so many of you already faced this problem so here they have also written that cloud 3.7 sonnet is in high demand everywhere so you may see this message during your coding that too many current requests requests and your queue position is 20 please wait for a while so in that case what you can do you can switch to this DeepSeek r1 model and you can continue your code as i have already discussed that DeepSeek r1 also have the best capability for the coding so in that case uh, you can switch between these two model cloud 3.7 sonnet and this DeepSeek r1 or you can use this DeepSeek v3 also to generate your code so i hope you got the point why tray is good for coding uh, with this dipsic r1 okay by the way if you don't find this uh, dipsic r1 or dipsic v3 option in this model selection in that case follow my cursor go to your account and here click on this restart to update or you can find the option like check for update and after that uh, here follow my cursor here you will find this restart to update so please make it uh, updated after that you will find this button okay now i have one simple prompt in the last video so let me show you that here you see that in this last video i have already uh, made a website uh, like weather update and there i have shown you that how to uh, use this cloud 3.7 sonnet and make a website so i will use the same prompt here uh, using this dipsy card one also and you please watch this two video and let me know that uh, which model is best for you okay here i will select this uh, dipsy regional r1 model and here i will paste that prompt so this is the prompt like create a single html file containing css and javascript to generate an animated weather card okay so now if i press enter and here you see that thinking option you will get as dipsy card one has a thinking capability so here you see that it is generating all of these things okay so in the meantime if you are visiting this channel for the first time please don't forget to subscribe this channel and please don't forget to like this video also and if you have any question just let me know in the comment section and also if you found helpful please don't forget to comment that yes i got uh, this video helpful okay so now let's back to our code and here you see that i got one index.html file and it is getting generated and when the generation is complete i will get one accept button okay
here you see that I have I have got this accept all and reject all button I will click on this accept all so inside this one index.html file it has written this uh, HTML and CSS code and this uh, JavaScript uh, logic also let me scroll down below uh, yes it has written, uh, written this JavaScript logic also so let me uh, run this okay so on the left hand side also from the top uh, you will find this web view here also you can see your application uh, how to see all these things are discussed uh, in this video okay so this, this is the video so please watch this now uh, let me ask it that please uh, run this and press enter okay and here you see that it is thinking It has given me one comment invoke item index.html click on this run and after that here you will find this uh, page okay so if i click on the start wind here you see and start rain and start sun and this start snow okay so it has given me like this and now uh, on the first try what so you here you see that the animation is perfect now i have to add the weather information here so for that i need to um, ask this dipsy garon that please show the weather also the current weather and according to that uh, show the um, the condition that it is wind or rain or sun okay so here you see that animation is actually perfect okay so I hope you got the point that uh, how to use this Dipseek R1 and why you should use this Dipseek R1 in this tray. So if you found helpful, don't forget to subscribe this channel, don't forget to like this video. And if you want me to make a real time app uh, in this tray, uh, then please don't forget to comment down below. So see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.